Action? Trust me, true believer. Not only did I not think I would be doing a cameo in such a big movie, I never dreamt there'd be such a big movie. In those days, I was writing those books, I was hoping they'd sell, so I wouldn't lose my job and I could keep paying the rent. All of a sudden, these characters have become world famous, they're the subject of blockbuster movies, and I'm lucky enough to get little cameos in them. Thank you. e -mark. Okay, and background action, and action. They decided any scene with Bob and me... You remember me? Sure don't. ...had to be a sure crowd pleaser. A great half. Cut. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a camera wrap on the creator of Iron Man, Mr. Oh. Stanley. We are so lucky. Robert Downey Jr. playing this role. I was born under a lucky star, I gotta tell you. And to be in a scene with him, brief as it was, and I'll talk to them about that later, it was a joy, <laughs> really a joy. I just love doing cameos because, first of all, there's no real responsibility. We arrive at the place where they're shooting. The director says, go to wardrobe, go to makeup. When I'm all finished, okay, here's your line. That's Captain America? I thought he'd be taller. I'd like to start with the line that might have been put to you, sir, which was, did it work? I'm a very good study. I can Action. remember a whole line oh. after reading it three or four yeah. times. <laughs> did it work? And action. Superheroes in New York? Give me a break. I mean, I say a line or two if I'm lucky enough to get a line. Sometimes it's just pantomime. Oh, man. Oh, man. Larry King. Larry! But there I am on the screen, and I'm a big ham, so I love it. Oh, man. I am so fired. I like them all. I mean, as I think of them, each one is my favorite. And shrink! Well, the 60s were fun, but now I'm paying for it. And cut it. And I love being in the theater and having somebody next to me say, Oh, look, that's Stan Lee. I get a big kick out of that. You know what? I think I'll just take these, bring them over here, and hold on for safekeeping. Are you Tony Stank? Oh, man. Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted, at that time, I was a Federal Express man. I'm trying to tie the Marvel Universe together by being the one common denominator that they all have. What's the matter with you kids? You've never seen a spaceship before? My cameos are always fun, especially when I do one with Thor. I play a barber. And I'm about to cut his hair. Cut something, and then oh. the whole thing's going to come to life. Okay. okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> no! Yes! <laughs> hey, you guys. Make love, not war. Each one stands out more than the previous one. This is one of the best cameos I've done, let me tell you. Look at the girl I'm with. You know what I'm saying? She's crazy, stupid, fine, right? You go, yeah. Yeah, crazy, stupid, fine. It's so fun when you show up in the films. It's really neat. Well, it's great. I love it. I mean, people are so nice. Hey, brother. How you doing? Thank you. All right, so have a safe trip down to it. Good to see you. The fact that I'm working with characters that I've created. Not okay. your chef. <laughs> you designed me in the room. <laughs> <laughs> By the crimson rings of Sidorak. It's Dr. Strange. And the fact that they are being directed so beautifully. I'll need a ride home. Why don't you try that? I'll need a ride home. To work with such professionals, and they all have a love of the characters. Yeah. Chris Evans came yeah. over to me like I'm his father. Mm. He, he is so happy to be doing what he's doing. He's so happy to be Captain yeah. America, you know? See, nobody's gonna recognize you, because they, they'll expect to see this little guy. <laughs> hey, Chris, yeah. hey, congratulations on the twins. Thanks, buddy. Hey, that's terrific. Yeah. So you say something first. I say, uh, it's aids for a thousand years and barrels built from the wreck of Grunhel's fleet. It's not meant for mortal men. What the hell did you just say? <laughs> it is not meant for mortal men. Neither was Omaha Beach, Blondie. Stop trying to scare us. I don't think of them as cameos. All right. 
I rather think of it as a supporting role that I play. Excelsior. And cut. Got that. And you cut it. Stan Lee, the whole reason any of this exists. My hero, the greatest man alive. For everything. <laughs> we should all be grateful. I know we're all honored. And uh, Stan, thank you so much for being here. It is our absolute pleasure. And forgive us if there's lots of handshakes and autographs happen. I sometimes wonder, did this really all happen? It's an honor to have thank you. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, thanks a lot. Thank you. In the days I was writing these things, I never thought it would turn into something like this. Thank you, sir. Thank you. This is just unbelievable. It is indescribable to work with creative people, especially people who make movies. It is such a thrill. It's, it's overwhelming when I think about it. And I keep saying to myself, I can't believe this is me. I can't believe I lucked out this way. Let's give it up for Stanley, guys. Woohoo! Yeah! Five lousy words they gave me to say. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thank you. You're a great director. Something you never forget. And thank you for all of this, and I hope that I didn't set interviewing back a few decades. <laughs> okay. I'll see you later. Thank you. Appreciate it. I remember every cameo I've done since the first one. And I think I'm a very lucky guy.